The Chicago Bears have signed defensive tackle Jalen Hutchings out of Texas Tech. Today, I wanted to give a brief profile on what to expect out of the athletic freak defensive tackle who was a former high school running back. The guy can bench 500 pounds and squat 700 pounds. He's a member of Bruce Feldman's freaks list and is now the newest Chicago Bear. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Jalen Hutchings took advantage of a redshirt freshman year and COVID's extra year of eligibility to spend six total years at Texas Tech. He had 11 career sacks and proved to be a really good run stuffer. He had at least three tackles for loss every year and 19 and a half total TFLs over the past three seasons. He played in over 60 career games and had 193 tackles as an interior lineman. Very experienced who can play nose or three tech. He has the body of a nose tackle, but he's athletic enough to play three tech. I actually think he brings an intriguing skill set to the table. Eberflus loves the guys that can play either of the defensive tackle positions. This is a guy who wasn't invited to the NFL Combine, and he doesn't have an RAS score, but based on his measurables and his addition to Bruce Feldman's freaks list, I imagine he would have scored at least a 9.0. I haven't had time to watch this guy on tape yet, but I watched some highlights and I did read over multiple of his scouting reports. My favorite is the one available on NFLDraftBuzz.com. I'll link it in the description below if you guys want to read more about our new defensive tackle. But a quick rundown on his strengths and weaknesses are this. Hutchings is quick off the snap, really good burst off the line of scrimmage. He's an athletic freak who benches 500 pounds and squatted 700. A former high school running back, he gets more penetration as a three tech, but is able to hold up against the run as a nose tackle as well. He has an NFL caliber spin move, a great motor, and solid strength and footwork when it comes to pass rushing. As far as his weakness, he has very violent hands, but he's inconsistent with where to place him and his hand usage needs more work. He's not consistent at breaking or shedding blocks, and he has a very limited repertoire of pass rush moves. This is a guy who, if Eric Washington got his hands on him, could potentially develop him and make him a better player. He has that upside. But most likely, Hutchings is just a camp body. But you have to realize we do lack depth at defensive tackle. I initially had Keith Randolph Jr. making the 53-man roster. Right now, I'd say that isn't looking very likely. Byron Coward is outperforming him, and he looked more like a practice squad guy to me so far. It is still early, though, but Hutchings can come in and at least add more competition to the position. He is athletic and he flies off the line of scrimmage. I will be at training camp this week to tell you guys how he looks in person. Let me know what you guys think. Please remember to hit that like button for me. Bears have no practice today. Stay tuned and until next time, bear down.